Hey guys, and welcome back to my series on traveling to China. My name is Amy Anna, and thank you for joining me once again. In the last episode, we went over five things that I thought you needed to know before you go to China. If you haven't watched that yet, make sure you check it out. But in this episode, we're going to go over the five reasons you should travel to China. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Woman Zaba. Maybe you remembered. Woman Zaba means let's go. Come on, guys, we can learn a bit of Chinese. <laughs> Guys, let's go straight into top five reasons why you need to go to China. Number one, landmarks and things to see and do. I'm actually going to do a whole separate episode as well on my five favorite landmarks. China is so different, home to some of the most amazing landmarks ever. I recommend going to cities like Shanghai, Hangzhou, Nanjing, Beijing. Hmm. See, Beijing. Yes, I haven't actually been there. Yeah, it's the capital. However, the smog levels in Beijing are really high. Basically, the further north you go of China, the more the smog is. Whereas cities like Shanghai are close to the coast, so they're much nicer to visit. If you do go to Shanghai, I'll mention the Shanghai Tower, which is the second tallest building in the world. In the world, and you can actually go off it. You can go up to like the 119th floor. You've also got the Pearl Tower. The Pearl Tower in Shanghai. Ah, I just remember they recently put a roller coaster in that is actually in VR. Go check out a video of it. It's absolutely amazing. So you wear the VR goggles, and then the roller coaster is in the Pearl Tower. The actual roller coaster makes it feel like you're going outside the tower. And of course, in Shanghai, you have the Huangpu River, which basically separates the city into two sides. And the night scene, when it lights up, literally takes your breath away. I was in tears, literally. It's just so beautiful. Sorry, London, nothing on that. <laughs> Next is food and drink. So I mentioned in the previous video about being aware of street food. Yes. But at the same time, you're in a totally new culture. You're in Asia. You've got to try something. There is so much you are spoiled for choice, and food that you've never even heard of is crazy. My favorite drink though is called Jeju Naicha. This is bubble tea. Some people don't like it, but you don't have to have the bubbles in it. Food is also interesting. There's so many things to try. My favorite is rice noodles, but they are also known for their hot pots. Hot pots are great. It's a real social thing eating in China. Hot pots is basically you have a big boiling boiling stew and then you just dip stuff in to cook it. Ah, uh, you also have barbecue restaurants where you literally have a barbecue on the table and you're just frying stuff. It's a very social way of eating in China. You normally have all the dishes in the center of the table, and then you have a small bowl and then you pick. One thing I do say is make sure you know how to use chopsticks. Next is nightlife and clubs. Nightlife in China is amazing if you know how to play it right. <laughs> Foreigners are quite lucky in China because in most clubs you can get into free or at least get a lot of discounts. They want to encourage foreigners to come in the clubs, but it depends where you go to do your research. You don't really need ID normally as well. What I used to do is always carry around a copy of my passport, like a laminated copy of it, because I didn't want to carry my actual passport around. Other clubs are great because they're all inclusive, so you just buy a wristband and you get unlimited drinks for the rest of the night. But if you're talking about the high-end clubs, then it's probably not worth it, guys. And I'll tell you why. These high-end clubs, you have to buy a table. Now, in this way, I would compare some of the clubs in China to our pubs or bars, because these tables you just sit down and you don't want to go off and dance because you've paid for your table, you've paid for the privacy, so why do you want to go and dance? Yeah, and these tables literally can cost so much. Number four, to experience the people. Now, the people are great. They're so friendly once you make friends with them. However, when, <laughs> when you're in the streets, like people will stare, especially if you're not in a touristy place, they will stare a lot. But in general, they are really friendly and yeah, some of the kindest people that I've met. And number five, finally, the cultural shock. This is my ultimate reason, I think. I think if you go anywhere in Asia, but mainly China, you will get the biggest cultural shock of your life. Before I went to China, I'd been all around the world, Ecuador, USA, Africa, Europe, 
everywhere. Yeah, when I first arrived in Shanghai, it's just, it takes, it takes a while, it does, it does. I'm talking the smell, the smell of foods that you've never known. Can you imagine smells that you just don't know? It's, it's a weird smell. And then you've got the sounds. You're always surrounded by sounds, different sounds. There's always like a constant ring of electricity because there's so much technology, like I said, going on. But then you've got the people, billions of people. You have the traditions. When I first arrived in Shanghai walking to our accommodation, people dancing in the streets. They were doing just nice traditional Chinese dances and just in the middle of the streets. And then they even have, in the morning, they do like yoga and tai chi in the parks. It's beautiful. Whereas in England, you just have people going off for a run, but they all get together and there's so many all the time, everywhere you go. Honestly, the amount of people you will see though is, is crazy. So there's five reasons on why you should travel to China if you're thinking about it. So this was episode two of my series on traveling to China. Join me in my next episode, which will be out very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe and like guys. I'm also over on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you guys. See you very soon.